Good morning. How you doing today? It's Margie, the bootleg knitter. I'm at the Daniel Boone Homestead. Here's the building behind me. So he lived here in Pennsylvania as a boy. I forget what, maybe 13 or something he moved. I'm not really sure. I, I got the sun on my eye, so excuse my squint. But I'm going to come around here. I'm actually trying to stay out of the smoke. I'm going to turn my phone so you can see. I have some marigolds. They will give me a nice yellow color. And that pot is the indigo. And it's got a nice scum on the top. That's how you want it because you have to actually get the oxygen out of it in order for it to die properly. And this jar here, that is a cochineal, which is a beetle. You crush them and then you make the dye out of it. Here is a yarn I did as a test this morning. It was actually too pale at first. I had to add um, something called color remover and that reduced, that takes the oxygen out of the indigo vat. Indigo is a plant that will not die if there's oxygen in the dye. So it's actually a chemical vat. So I do these programs for the kids for free. It's so much fun. I have seven groups to, oh, out of the sun. Whew. <laughs> I have seven groups coming today. I introduce them to all kinds of good stuff. I know not everything here is historical because you know I need to have bags to carry stuff in. So here is a sheep's fleece. That is a Corydale sheep. So I explain about how the wool comes from the sheep. Then I have some other dyes as well. I have matter root. I have Osage or Osage Orange. Again, there's some marigolds in a bag. And then this bag, I have some onion skins. I know the bag looks gross because the other day I was doing walnuts and um, the walnut dye tripped all over the bag. If I turn you around nice and easy on the fence over there, you see my red sweater. And then you'll see there is a yarn that is yellow. That is from marigolds. The yarn that is half blue and half yellow, I did it in marigolds and then I dipped it in indigo. These are all different shades of indigo. To get that dark, if I keep dipping this one, it'll end up being that dark eventually. These here are from Matter, M-A-D-D-E-R. So I got the darker color as well as the lighter color. And this one here is with coffee. So what I do is the kids come, I explain to them how clothes were made back in the butter churning days and then I put the excuse the shadow there I put the yarns into the pots and they die so that's what I do here at Daniel Boone Homestead and I do this at other places as well it's a beautiful day I'm very lucky it's not going to be too cold not going to be too hot it's going to be just nice and I will have shade over here most of the day so I'm not squinting in the sun all day and yeah, so you all have a nice day.